Joining me now to discuss the White House uh, and the administration's leaks and whether the intelligence community could be the ones who are surveilling uh, and monitoring President Trump's telephone calls is the architect of the NSA surveillance program, former NSA senior intelligence officer. He is also an NSA whistleblower. We're joined tonight by William Benny, and uh, it's been a few years, and it's uh, great to have you here with us tonight. Let me start uh, with your assessment as to the likelihood mm -hmm. that this president is being monitored uh, and uh, surveilled by more than one agency uh, and from perhaps more than one quarter, whether it be the White House, the State Department, FBI, CIA, or NSA? I, I think there's no question of that, Lou. I mean, these, these conversations that are coming out uh, are the, the types of things that are collected under the programs from the upstream collection programs from NSA. And the biggest program that's doing it is the Fairview program. Uh, which is about a hundred taps inside the uh, fiber optic ne networks inside the United States and from those they're taking phone calls, emails, full take content and metadata and storing it so and also processing it. So there, I don't think there's any question that this came from the NSA programs. The, the problem is it doesn't necessarily have to be NSA or NSA people in NSA that leak the the conversations, it could have been people from CIA or FBI or DEA who also have direct access to that. But also I would say that the, these are very compartmented programs, so there's a very few numbers of people who are involved in them, and they're all, uh, they all get clear, cleared for the program, so they're all listed as to who has access to, the, to this data. And, yeah. if they, and, if they, and if they looked into the network logs inside NSA, they could see who was accessing those files. And, and how long would it, in your judgment, because I think this is a question most people immediately turn to, how long should it take, would it likely take, to have the FBI, to have whatever investigatory agency or, uh, or agencies move in and determine who is responsible for these, these leaks from whatever quarter of the government? Uh, well, I think they should, from the, from the and now analyzing the network logs, mm -hmm. from my point of view, I would think it would take no more than a day to figure right. out who, who was accessing it. So they end up with a set of people who they need to investigate more closely then, interrogate and have them come in and, and questions. And this, this administration, have you ever seen a president, an administration, uh, at whatever stage, uh, so besieged <laughs> by leaks, by a national left-wing media that is trying, obviously, to, to destroy his presidency. Have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, I, never, I never have. I mean, uh, to me, it's, a, it's, a, it's basically, uh, I think people are, are reacting in a, in a sense of having fear of what, what he might do and what he might achieve. Uh, from, from my perspective, I think that some of the things he's doing is, are really starting to stimulate the economy and people are afraid right. that he's going to succeed too much and too well right. with that. And it may, might look them look really bad. And so I think they're going to try to find... They look any, pretty bad already, ir yeah, they're, irrespective they're gonna, of the outcome. Yeah, that's true. But they're going to look even yeah. worse if the economy starts really going. Yeah, and, 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 and the markets, as we reported, are going uh, all, not all, but nearly all of the uh, data that's coming in on the economy shows an economy that is moving considerably uh, in a positive direction from where it was even in the last uh, quarter uh, of uh, last year. Uh, you know, William, uh, let me ask you this. The, the surveillance that is, is, is being utilized, is there any way for this president to take control of that? And uh, because it, it's critically important that he have, as we know, trust in, and the, uh, in the agencies and the intelligence community have trust in him. Can he, can he win that kind of control against the permanent uh, government, if you will, the bureaucracy of uh, the intelligence community? Yes, he can. And uh, the way to do it is, of course, through the Department of Justice and the FBI and force them to, in, in, to follow the laws and the Constitution, in which case then they'll have to put some people in jail. And that'll start stopping this kind of activity. The other, the other point is he needs to unfund these actions being done by NSA, this bulk collection of data, uh, regardless of who you are. They're just pulling in data on everybody, not right. just the presidents, the vice president, all the members of Congress, the, in, the, in, the intelligence committees, right. you know, the, 
the uh, judges on the Supreme Court, you know, generals on the gen Joint Chiefs, everybody. Right. And, uh, and it is uh, important to point out that the president has, uh, has called upon the Attorney General, the Justice Department, right. to, uh, to begin that investigation into these leaks. William Benny, thank you as always. Come back soon. We're going to have, I'm sure, uh, far more need of your services as this unwinds. Thanks well, so thank much. You, thank you. Thank you.